this is Aiden's Toy Trove. I received this box in the mail today. Um, it's Danner's and I got really excited. I was thinking oh, maybe there were some new boots for me. And uh, they aren't a new boots, but it's something just as exciting and guessing you can guess. Uh, it's a model horse. Um, this one uh, was a custom. It was done by a super, super friend of mine. And you might recognize it. I was actually promoting this horse as an eBay auction. And at the last minute, um, I just realized how much I love this horse and I put in a bid and I ended up winning it. So I will show you what we have. This is a super awesome custom Lonesome Glory. He was done by uh, Lane Watrous. We have been helping Elaine promote her auctions on eBay. So if you look uh, down into the YouTube description, I'll put a link to um, some of the posts that we've made about Elaine on our uh, website blog. And from there, you should be able to hunt down any more current auctions that Elaine might have. Now, I saw this uh, particular horse at um, Briar West. Uh, I kind of like sat on my hands about buying him and then I helped Elaine to list him for sale and I was really good about not bidding on him until the very end of the auction but you know what I'm really happy that I got this guy. Um, Elaine does some phenomenal work. Um, these um, unique uh, findings, screws, gadgets, all these cool little uh, things that she puts onto the horse, they're um, very secure. Uh, these horses are very well made and just for comparison I have a original finish on the Lonesome Glory mold here to show you um, I believe this is Seattle Slough he's been hanging out in my sales cabinet for a while I'm not sure why he hasn't been listed but now that I found him he might be listed for sale pretty soon and um, I'm going to see if I can get these both on camera for you to just compare and contrast that well um, the original pose of this model is pretty much the same the personality is completely different and every bit of this model has been resculpted like I don't think there's any place on this horse that hasn't been resculpted or have new fittings and um, it's really something that you have to see in person to truly appreciate I know a lot of people say that but on Elaine's horses this is especially true the workmanship and the detailing is just lovely so there they are together and I want to get you um, some more close-ups hopefully we'll be able to show you some of the detailing on this particular horse one of the things I loved about him was um, these little red I don't even know what they are beads in his mane and he has these beautiful um i don't even know what they are metal fittings on his mane that that stick up a bit like a roached mane and then on the other side here he has these gorgeous gorgeous little curly um fittings on his mane and um on his withers there I'll try to get you a close up uh this is a really pretty um i can't remember what elaine called it but it's a it's like a flower metal fitting and it's attached to the horse with an actual screw she carved a beautiful uh, nose band around the horse's muzzle she stamped like some really intricate uh, patterns into uh, his body uh, on his other side he also has some beautiful flower and pattern work um, his tail she has posed so nicely um, I, I could perhaps move it around and reposition a little but I don't want to mess with it because Elaine did such a nice job with it you can see it's it's um, secured with a bolt and there are some shiny little crystals and jinglies on his tail he's just so pretty uh, I also want to show you at Briar West my son received this beautiful little filly uh, from Elaine this is Amber and she has a curly little mane and tail and she's a bit of a darker color but she also has um, the very same type of flower fittings 
um, on her shoulder here and I was particularly drawn to this Lonesome Glory because I knew that my son had this piece um, which is one of the very first models in his collection and I thought that the, these two horses would go together beautifully and they do. So thank you Elaine, these horses will be uh, in with my personal show horses inside my custom show cabinet. Thanks for watching.